What are we eating tonight? Creamy Cajun pasta, blackened lobster, and light skinned scallop. But first, a piece of cocktail. Boil your pasta. I'm using one pot, so I like woks. Cut your lobster with some kitchen shears and use a knife to split it in half. Once it's in half, you gotta clean out the vein. It's kind of like shrimp. By the way, like, comment, and subscribe. I mean, duh. I'm using Aunt Tabitha's light sweet and light smoky. You can make a blackening season by adding sugar and a little smoked paprika to your favorite AP seasoning. It'll work out. Then I put some garlic powder, my favorite Cajun seasoning, and some Spiceology Sasquatch. Links below. That seasoning is so clutch. Highly recommend you use it. It's very versatile. Use it on anything you like. I season my scallops simply with salt and pepper. They were light skinned because I didn't have time to get them nice and dry. I just defrosted them the same day. Slice up a shallot, then crush some garlic. No garlic, that's gross and it doesn't have any flavor. Just stop it. Shred the cheese, no bag. The consistency would be trash if you do. I have Parmesan Reggiano. I also have some soft, the poison, poison, whatever. It's the same thing, different brand. I add some olive oil to a piping hot pan and sear my scallops, my wet scallops. Do better than I did. Then I put some ghee in a pan. You can use olive oil. Now, this is blackening. It's sugar. It will burn. It's supposed to. That's how you get that nice depth of flavor and the brownness. It'll be okay. You can put your shallots and your garlics in there. Keep them moving. The pan is hot. And then we're going to deglaze with white wine. Add some Chardonnay that no one drinks in my home. And uh, that's what happened there. Chicken bouillon, clutch in all pasta sauces. Has some more Cajun, um, garlic powder. I'm going to also put some lemon in here for some balance of acidity. Definitely need that for the richness. I use heavy whipping cream and I use milk. Yes, you can use half and half, but by using them separately, you can control your consistency and richness. You want it more rich, add more cream. You want it less rich, more milk. Very simple. Now I'm going to pepper. I do not salt them to the end to avoid over salting my food. Now you want to add your cheese slowly. Don't dump it all in there. Make sure it's at a rolling boil and it comes back to temperature each time you add it. That'll keep your sauce nice and smooth. I put my shredded in first, and then once it's melted and incorporated, I'm going to put my uh, spreadable cheese, whatever brand you like, that's up to you. You can also use cream cheese. I also add pasta water, add a little bit at a time. You can always add more later as you check the consistency of your sauce. I had this cute little Gouda, so I added it to it. Um, then you'll also see me add a little bit more Parmesan again. I'm adjusting as I go to get the, the thickness that I'm looking for. Everyone has their own preference. A good place to start with your thickness is if it coats the back of a spoon. Um, but also keep in mind this is really hot. So as it cools down, it's going to thicken up. So you want to take it a little more watery or runny than you want your final product. Then I add my pasta back in and I'm gonna toss it. This is where I can tell if I have enough sauce. Do I need to add some cream, um, you know, milk to get the consistency that I want. I also check for salt and seasoning. You can add more salt and seasoning here um, before your final product. Always keep salt to the end so you don't over salt. Once it's seasoned to perfection, you add your seafood back in. I don't mix the lobster in aggressively because I like it to sit on the top for plating. Here's your nice pretty plate like a restaurant. So that is it. You can add a little bit of extra cheese on the top if you care for it. Add a little parsley because we fancy and that's it. Thank you for rocking with me again.